All right, it's just you and I now, Michael. Great. So as I said, everybody, it is wonderful to have you here today. And um, Michael, let me, uh, you can take over. Mick, if you want to put your video off, good to see you, Mick. <laughs> okay, Michael, over to you. Yeah, excellent. Okay, thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, we know how busy everybody is and how precious your time is. So um, we guarantee that you'll get great value out of today. So um, I see many familiar faces here, but for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Michael Hanrahan. I'm the former managing editor of John Wiley and Sons. Um, I'm the founder and MD of Publish Central. We offer Australia's number one self-publishing service for small business and entrepreneurial authors. And I'm also the co-founder of the Australian Business Book Awards now in their fourth year. Um, they're about to open soon. So if you've uh, published a small business book uh, in the last 12 months, make sure you check them out. Um, so with us today, we have the wonderful Rachel Burke. Um, I've done her million dollar messages training, which was absolutely fabulous and is an area I very much need help in. <laughs> so I've, I've signed up for more, more classes later this year. Um, so hi, Rachel. Thanks so much for joining us. Yes, um, hello. Hey. G'day, Miriam. How are you doing? Hi, good, Michael. <laughs> nice to see you. You too. Uh, so um, we're turning everybody's video off, but thank you so much, Michael, um, for your introduction. And it's wonderful to be here in this uh, in our webinar together today. And it's uh, you've got a fantastic group of um, clients here I know that you know quite well. Um, so it's wonderful to have them all here today. And for all of you new people that Michael and I don't know, it is also brilliant to have you here today. And I know a lot of people are going to be listening to this as a recording. So if you're listening to it on the recording, uh, thank you. We, we know that you're going to love the, the next hour as we unpack, um, as I said before, the seven steps to sales success for ambitious authors. So, uh, Michael, you've got a, a little, little bit more to, yep. to introduce and then, uh, then I will take over. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly introduce Rachel and then we'll hand over to her for what's going to be a fun and interactive session. Um, so the session, as Rachel said, is going to go for about an hour. You can ask questions in the chat box as we go. So we've got somebody else monitoring the chat box at the other end. Um, and everybody who registered uh, will be sent a recording of the session later. So Rachel Burke is one of Australia's most recognised thought leaders in sales and influence and is the author of the upcoming The Yes Zone, Be Easy to Buy From and Impossible to Say No To. Um, I've already pre-ordered my copy. Um, <laughs> her clients include leading SMEs, authors, thought leaders, prominent influencers, trainers and educators. Yeah. Rachel has worked internationally for, for several years teaching advanced skills of influence to senior executives and global banks such as the Royal Bank of Scotland and Morgan Stanley, and the general manager of L'Oreal Paris and many more. As the co-founder and head trainer at SalesSpace, Rachel combines the latest neuroscience research with the psychology of sales to create customized sales systems that guarantee results. The SalesSpace buyer's coach methodology, cha methodology changes the way people do business. Clients working with Rachel double their sales record in double their sales revenue in record time. She knows that your influence will determine your income and is here today to support you in your quest to maximize revenue growth with your book at the center of your strategy. Thank you, Michael. What a great introduction. I wonder who wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is, uh, as I said, it's wonderful to be here today. And we work with a, a lot of um, authors and experts in their field who are uh, who either written a book or are planning to write a book. And they really want to know how to, how to uh, as, as we said, maximize the success of their book, maximize the success of their business and the revenue that they actually bring in um, with the book at the center of their strategy. So um, I feel really honored to be here today with everybody. I am the uh, I am the founder and head trainer at Sales Space, and um, it's it's really exciting to be sharing my insights and my my story with you in terms of what it takes to to grow a, a thriving business or a thriving practice um, with with sales as your focus. Because what we all know is that running your own business, running your own practice, is fun until you're not making any money. It becomes so much more fun when you are financially successful. And that is exactly what we help our clients to do. So um, I've been now, I've been in business now for over 30 years. Um, and having run my own business for, for that long, I really do know what it takes to, um, to thrive with with uh, with our with our thought leadership and our IP at the centre of what we do, so uh, it's going to be a big hour for all of us. And as Michael said, I'm very happy for you to ask questions in the chat. Um, and but it's going to be interactive. So let me let me talk you through exactly how we're going to do it and the outcomes for today. So Michael, we might put you um, 
hide you as well so everybody can see it in, in the view. So if you would like to all, for those of you listening now, if you would like to put the view on... Um, I was charging my laptop. I put oh, it on my Joe, laptop. we can hear you. So if we can just mute oh. Joe Saunders. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, fantastic. Uh, so now we've got speaker view, which is good. So I should be the nice large picture so you can see the, the slides really easily. Okay, let us go, everybody. So first of all, our outcomes for today. Um, fully engage in an interactive eye-opening webinar, webinar. I'm going to be asking you questions and I want you to engage um, as we go through these. And, and in the chat, I want you to be writing down what your answers are. Quite simply, they're a yes or a no, um, or sometimes a little bit longer answer, but let's get fully engaged in this so, um, so you get the most out of our hour together. Uh, let's, uh, so you're also going to receive the answers to some of your biggest challenges when it comes to um, the sales strategy required to maximise the success of your business with your book in the centre of your strategy. Learn what it takes to maximise your revenue. And also, I'll invite, invite you at the end of the webinar to build a new model of success and make the 2022-23 financial year your best earning year ever. Because I am sure if you have written a book or are planning to write a book very soon, that is 100% your goal because it is a huge effort and you want to, uh, to maximise that effort wherever you can. So we all know this to be very true. Your IP is worthless unless somebody buys it. So yes, people might be buying your book, but there's more to your business. There's more to your practice than the IP that is in your book. There is, there, you've got your, your programs, your packages. Uh, there's so much more to what you deliver and we need to make sure that people buy us. Otherwise, our, our IP is definitely not um, uh, optimised. What you do, so uh, what you do next determines whether you, if you are unhappy with your lacklustre results or absolutely thrilled with your book's ROI. So my question to you now is what challenges are you facing? So I would love you in the chat to just put down some of your challenges now if you can. I, I normally love to go to people face to face, but there's, a, there's quite a lot of people on this uh, webinar today. And if you can go into the chat now and just write down what, what are the challenges you're facing when it comes to maximizing your book's ROI? Is it selling the books? Is it actually getting started with your book? Is it uh, knowing what strategy to implement when you've launched your book? Is it um, actually converting the leads that are coming to you because of the promotion that you're doing for your book? I'm really keen to hear if you can pop into the chat um, and if someone can let me see what the chat, that is fantastic. So Paul says, where to start? I just say, <laughs> I'm not even sure where to start. Uh, and, um, and Miriam says, I wrote my book in 2013, not sure how to jump start it again. That is, that's there. Thank you for sharing. That's a real strategy. That's a, sorry, that's a real issue for many people. Um, Jürgen says strategy. How do I maximize the strategy with my book at the center? Um, Bill says generating more leads worldwide. <laughs> I know Bill is on world domination mission, which I love. Um, Angeline, strategy. As I have potentially multiple books in mind, um, they would be related. So what's the strategy to bring all of that uh, to life? Um, Karen says, the big how from the beginning, how do I do this? How do I, there's just so many questions around the how. So let those, um, let those challenges keep coming through because this is really helpful. Um, so thank you for those. But this is what we hear all the time. First of all, I waste so many opportunities. Secondly, something is missing. I know I should be doing more. I see people doing so well around me. What am I not doing? And of course, there is a lot at stake. Writing your book takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It's also a, a, an investment. So there is an enormous lot at, at, at stake for for most of us when it comes to your book. So let me share with you now a model that some of you already know, but let me reiterate the importance of this because your influence does determine your income. Let me walk you through this and I'd love you to actually think, where do I sit on this model? All of us exist somewhere between survivor and influencer in our sales conversations. 
where either order takers or sales makers. Order takers are at the mercy of the market. Sales makers create opportunities no matter where they go, no matter what the context. So if you are just surviving your sales conversations, you know that you are chaotic in your approach. Chances are you prefer to be an influencer and have the certainty that you're craving in terms of your ability to actually bring the revenue into and the cash flow into your business. All that is possible if you have absolute clarity, which gives you the confidence to speak with the conviction that your clients require from you. To do that, there are five distinct stages you need to walk through. Firstly, you need to give yourself permission to do it differently. Secondly, do the preparation required. And, you know, the, the hard work is done behind the scenes. We all know that. But it's knowing what work to do. Then you need to practice it to make sure that you're in flow and it's as good as it can get. Polish it while you're practicing it. And that's when you ultimately prosper. So I want you to think about now. Where am I when it comes to my influence and my ability to sell? Am I down the bottom where it's more of an order taker, where I'm good if the phone rings and I'm relatively good at converting those, but I'm haphazard and chaotic in my approach? Or do I have a bit more confidence and I'm quite, you know, I'm okay at selling, I'm quite good at it, um, but certainly I could polish it up? Or are you right at the top already where you do create opportunities no matter where you are, no matter what the context? Um, so where would you sit on that model? So I'm interested to hear. Uh, let us continue. So the thing is, as an ambitious author, you have three choices. You can be stressed every day about money. <clears throat> you can be doing okay but suffer a sinking feeling almost daily that things could change at any minute. Or you could be strategic in your approach and follow a sales system that guarantees success. In my mind, and as a fellow business owner and thought leader of almost 30 years, um, the third choice is the only option. Year-on-year -year growth and a healthy dose of personal fulfillment is the only way forward. So let us have a look at the sales excellence model. Sales excellence involves three critical elements, strength, structure, and strategy. But nothing will happen unless you have purpose and action. Looking more closely at this, and as an author, you have a solid purpose. As an expert in your field, we identify, declare, and deliver what, we, what our purpose is. But without action, your purpose is just a dream. So you must decide, commit, and then do. Okay, let's have a look at the sales, six, so the sales space success map for book optimization. Okay, and this is what I know many of you are here to, to see today. Check exactly um, what you need, how it all comes together and the strategy you need to do to, uh, to, to maximize your revenue with your book at the center of your strategy. Okay, first of all, we've got your book in the middle, as we said. Targeting is the number one thing you need to be thinking about and develop a very, very, a very, very clear target audience when you're writing your book or with your book as a strategy. So uh, make sure your target audience is incredibly clear. So once you've got that, then we think, okay, we need to develop sales messages that speak exactly to the, that audience. So they are the bumper sticker statements. That's the language of your business or your practice that really does grab the attention of that exact target audience. Then you've got your products, your, your free and paid products. Now, the thing is that when someone reads your book, they are going to want to buy something from you. Have you developed what they want to buy from you or... Are they going to read it and then think, yes, I want to actually speak to that person, but then you've got nothing ready to go or not, it's not good enough um, ready to go once they've read your book. And then also the next thing you need to do is develop the visual models to sell each product or program. So as I'm showing you a model now, models, models um, a picture says a thousand words, sorry, a picture says a thousand words, as the saying says, which is so true. If you have a beautiful visual model that represents your value proposition, it is a million times easier to sell your products that people are going to want to buy from you after you've read your book. Okay, what's next? Then we need to think about the sales collateral. 
your brochures, your videos, your presentations, all of these need to be developed beautifully and highly professionally so that they speak exactly to the target market that your book has been written for. And then you have to um, use a sales system. Make sure that you've got a really systemized approach to your sales. Otherwise, leads will come in and they'll go straight out as quickly as they came in without any money being exchanged whatsoever. Then you have strategy. So you've got all of this in place, but what's your strategy around utilizing that? What are you going to say? When are you going to say it? How are you going to bring those leads in really easily? Um, there's so much strategy conversation that needs to go around your system. There's also marketing strategy. So if you've got a great marketing strategy, but there's no sales strategy around that, what you will notice is leads come out, leads leave, no sales being made. So what is your sales strategy around the marketing strategy with your book? Let's have a look at what's next your website. Many, many thought leaders and authors have worked with us or subject matter experts. And when I go to their website to have a look at um, what, ha what their online presence is after they've launched their book or in pre-launch preparation for the book, there's no evidence of, it, of their book on their website. So we need to make sure you either your current website is highlighting um, your book or you've got a, a book only website, which many authors do as well, that really promotes your book in a very professional way. Once you've got that, then audit it and make sure your SEO and keyword research is all perfected to drive people to your website and that your articles, so as we know is um, when you're self-publishing your book, when you've got, you've got so much control when you're a self, when you've self-published. So you can do whatever you want with the content in that book and, uh, and make sure it's driving people leads to your website because, as I said, you've got full control, which um, I've learned very much from Michael from a publishing perspective. Shall I self-publish or go with a publishing house? I certainly know that I would want full control over what I do with my content. Next, once you've done your audit and you've got your website, then there's landing pages that need to be developed as well that are going to sell your specific programs. Um, or services that people are going to want to buy when they read your book. So they go straight into the landing page. And if they don't buy immediately, then you've got a beautiful um, nurture campaign that's created, ready um, to help nurture them in, in to, be, to heat them up and be ready to buy. Um, and also a content promotion strategy need, uh, is to be written as well so that it's always flowing from your website um, to, as I said, get the message out there and get your IP out there that um, obviously you've worked very hard to create from a book perspective. Last but not least, a sales-specific CRM. So the thing is, everybody, if you are working like mad to do everything else across this success map for your book optimization, but you don't have a CRM that's helping you to keep track of your, your clients, your leads, the activity, um, exactly where they're up to in the sales cycle, you are very, very quickly going to be in a world of overwhelm and you're going to be losing, losing leads and losing money head over fist. So you need to make sure that you're, um, you've got a sales-specific CRM. And as it says on the screen here, at your fingertips, uh, sales-specific uh, information and website integration. Because if you've got... Um, if you've got stuff happening online and people are uh, downloading things on your website and doing a quiz on your website, downloading your book, downloading your first chapter, whatever it might be, and, um, and you have not got things automated or if your website is not talking beautifully to your CRM so that you can have that all tracked beautifully, oh my gosh, you are doing it very hard and you're doing it the wrong way. So you need to make sure you've got everything set up in that model. So we're going to send out, if I go back to that model now, we're going to send that out to you um, after this, after this uh, session as well. So you've got that map and you know exactly what you need to be doing. All right. Does anyone have any questions about that? If you have any questions about that map, I'm really happy for you to pop it into the chat now because even if I don't, any tips for a great simple CRM? Absolutely. Um, we are lovers of, sorry, of Zoho CRM. We have Ben uh, who actually is employed full-time in sales space to help our clients set up Zoho CRM in their business. 
fully integrated into their um, into their business and their website and bring it to life. So um, if anyone does want to know anything about CRMs, then uh, talk to us about Zoho and then we'll help you with that. Um, so yes, send in any questions, what sort of thoughts on Active Campaign? I certainly do have lots of thoughts on Active Campaign. Um, now, Miriam or anyone else who's super keen to know more about CRM, we're actually going, going to be running a CRM specific webinar at the start of August. I think it's the 2nd of August, um, helping you and showing you what you should expect from your CRM in, in the sales space. Um, so yes, there's loads of questions around that, but um, we can answer. Uh, we love my active campaign. Yes, there are things that active campaign are great with. There are things that active, active campaign doesn't do in compared to uh, compared to Zoho. So that's a big conversation in itself. So keep the questions coming if you want to. I may not answer them now, but I certainly will get back to you. Okay, so what we're going to do now, everybody, is uh, go into our seven steps. So this is uh, interactive. I want you, anyone who's here in the webinar today, right now, please put your answers into the chat as I go through. So I'm going to be asking you to say yes or no to these seven steps so that I want you to be able to tally up your answers at the end and we'll have a discussion about what to do with those, um, with those, with that tally. Okay, so we're going to do a live poll and this is all around the seven steps to sales success for ambitious authors, how to maximize the ROI of your book. All right, so what I want you to do as well, if you have a pen and paper handy, please grab out a pen and paper. So hopefully you're sitting at your desk now and you can grab out a pen or paper. And as we go through, I want you to write down um, one to seven straight down the page if you can. So I'll give you a minute to do that. One to seven straight down the page and then write yes or no next to the numbers as we go through the seven steps. And as you write it, then also type it into the chat so uh, so I can help, I can be uh, in, engaged in this as well so I know exactly where you're all at um, with, um, with the seven steps as we go through them. Okay, so you all organised, you've got your, you've got your, um, you've got your pen and paper ready to go, let's do it. So first of all, step one, conduct a mindset audit. Let me put myself back up there. Uh, so do you turn up to work every day loving what you do? Are you secretly terrified, though, of rejection? Does it take you more than one hour to get yourself back in a good mood if one of your biggest clients pulls out of a deal? If any of these situations are true for you, exceeding your targets or even just reaching them will be impossible. So I should have said, do you turn up today loving what you do or do you think, oh my God, I wish I didn't have to sell. So if any of these are true, then you need to conduct a mindset audit. Sales is a mindset game. So if your mind is not playing the game and making sales really easy for you, then a mindset audit is where it is. So do you need to, is your mindset exactly where you need it to be? Yes or no? So give yourself a yes if you know you are absolutely on fire from a sales perspective or a no if you need you know you need to conduct a mindset audit. So give me a yes or a no. If you find sales challenging, you give yourself a no. If you are on fire with your sales, then you give yourself a yes. Okay, thank you. Putting them down now. I want to see lots of, uh, lots of answers in the chat. Okay, number two is... Create programs that your readers will want to buy from you. Is it crystal clear in your mind what a reader will want to buy from you when they have read your book? And have you created those programs and priced them properly? That's a big point as well. So give yourself a yes or a no. So a yes means you have already created all the programs that your readers will want to buy from you and you know they're priced correctly. And you give yourself a no if you haven't done this um, anywhere near the level. You just haven't done it yet at all and you need help with that. So, or you know you need to do that. Perfect. All right. So number two, yes or a no. Perfect. Number three, commit to a pre-launch, launch and post-launch strategy. Have you designed a pre-launch, launch and post-launch strategy? Marketing and HR, I'm sorry, marketing and PR, no, so I should say, strategy that, and you are fully committed to them. Yes or a no? Have you committed? Have you got one? 
is a yes. If you haven't got one yet, now, now don't give yourself a yes if you've got a launch strategy, but you don't have a pre-launch and a post-launch strategy. You have to have all three to give yourself a yes, and it's a no if you haven't. Okay, number four, develop a sales strategy and follow it. Uh, if you are marketing, if you are doing PR, if you're working with a PR expert, if you're working with a marketing company, whatever it might be, you will be doing a lot of work and, and expending a lot of energy actually getting the word out there around your book. If you don't know exactly what to do with that strategy, when people come into you or they start reading or you notice that they're, they're clicking on things on your website, you've got to know what to do. Sending out masses of emails just trying to nurture them and not actually close a deal is not going to work or it's going to take you a very long time to get a sales result. So a sales strategy is what you require. So do you have a sales strategy so you know how to convert your leads and at what stage to do that in your marketing campaigns? Yes or a no? Number five, you use a sales system that converts. I mean, obviously, this is exactly what we do at Sales Space. And why are we so successful at what we do? Because most people have no idea how to actually um, use a beautifully refined, elegant sales system in their sales conversations to convert all of their leads, their ideal leads. Um, I'm not into converting clients who are completely not right for you or your business. But when you want to convert them, do you have a system that you can completely rely on that you, will, you know will work every time? Yes or a no to that. And I'm just going to pop up another piece of sales advice. You need to spend at least 20% of your week selling. So yes, I want you to have a sales system that converts, but or do you also spend at least one full day of the week, if you work five days a week, selling, selling yourself, selling your book, selling your products and services? Because sitting behind your computer and thinking you can just punch out lots of um content and never sell is not going to make you any money. So do you do that? Yes or no? Number six, use professionally designed collateral. If you know how to sell and what to say in every conversation, sales conversation, you want to ensure that you're as good on paper as you are in person. So do you have professionally designed collateral, brochures, sales slides, landing pages, um, that are going to bring your sales conversations to life and make you really easy to buy from. So do you have that um, professionally designed collateral? Yes or no? Thank you. Keep on, keep it coming <clears throat> in the chat. Show us, uh, show us exactly where you're at. That's perfect. Okay. Next one is seven. Use a sales specific CRM to automate your actions and capture your leads. At your fingertips, sales information and website integration. And obviously we love the Zoho platform uh, to do that. So even if you do not use a CRM um, and you're using a spreadsheet, uh, whatever it might be, are you absolutely diligent with collecting the right information about your clients? Do you even know what information you need to be collecting from a, from a lead generation, lead perspective as well? So have you got this completely sorted and you know that you have systemized your approach and the platform that you're using is really helping you to um, maximize the revenue with your book at the center of your strategy? Or do you feel like things are falling through the cracks? So give yourself a yes if you're fully organized with this, or a no if you know you're not. Okay, so let's have a look at your score. So uh, what I would love you to do now is have a look at your, uh, your piece of paper and think, okay, give me a score out of seven. So I want you to now, so thank you, Paul. Um, Paul's just put all of them in there, what he gave himself for each one. What I would love you to do, if you're live on this webinar now, please put into the chat, um, how many yeses you got. So how many yeses? And if you gave yourself, a, if there are yeses in there, which I'm thrilled if there are, if you've got yeses, then in brackets, tell me what questions you have, um, which of those points of the seven steps you got a yes for, just to summarise those for me, um, just like Paul did, which is super. All right, very good. 
Now, thank you for that. Now, for some of you, not very good because there's only zeros or one. Okay, so let's have a look at um, let's have a look at those steps again. I'm going to just put them up here to make it easy for you to see them. Because I'm going to ask you next, which one are you going to focus on first? First of all, conduct a mindset audit. Do you know that that's the biggest piece, the biggest piece of this puzzle, puzzle that is stopping you? It is your mindset. Remember, sales and making money is so much a mindset game. So do you need to focus on that first? Number two, create the programs that readers will want to buy from you. Is that where you think you need to start? And that's where you're at with your, with your business. Number three, commit to a pre-launch, launch and post-launch strategy. Is that what you want to do, focus on first? Develop a sales strategy and follow it. Do you know exactly what to do with your marketing strategy in your book, PR, so that you bring sales in? That's what sales strategy is. Do you have a sales system that converts? Do you know exactly how to run your sales conversations in your sales meetings? Boom, so that you are on fire every time. Number six, use professionally designed collateral. Number seven, a sales-specific CRM to automate your actions and catch, capture your leads. So out of those, I want you to think to yourself, okay, which one is going to have the greatest improvement in my business or in my practice? So which of these seven steps is going to give you the greatest improvement in your business? And if you could decide on that and then pop that into the chat, that would be fantastic. Where do you, where are you all at? I'd love to speak to you all. I'd love it to be easy to speak to everybody personally, but I'm really keen to know. So John's written three, then four. I'm happy for you to give me that sort of um, uh, information as well. If you've got a bit of a, an order and you want to put one or two or even three in there that you know you need to focus on immediately, that would be great as well. Okay, perfect. Keep them coming, everybody. It's really helpful. Um, because when you know what your greatest improvement, what you need to do, then we need to decide on your action. What action are you going to take? What action are you going to take to actually do this? So do you know what you need to do? Do you need to reach out and ask us what to do next? Um, so once you've got a realisation on which of the seven steps is holding you back the most, then what action are you going to take to to alleviate that issue and to gain the answers that you need for massive momentum forward. Okay, so think about that uh, and type into the chat now, if you will, please, your action as well. What action would you like to take to actually uh, overcome these challenges and start <laughs> the ball rolling? <laughs> Bless you in the background. <laughs> okay, type it in there. What action are you going to take? Let me give you a minute to do that. Okay, thank you. All right, let's now share. We're going to shift gears slightly and look at what it takes for a new model of success. First of all, you must have a carefully chosen target market. So hopefully, if you've written your book already, you know exactly who your target audience is that is reading that book. And if you're thinking about writing a book or your next book, then you're going to be razor sharp when it comes to your target audience. And we can definitely help you with that. But that I know if you go to, a, um, if you write a book or you work with a book coach and they, and you have got a razor sharp idea of your target audience, it is like music to your book coach's ears, or it's going to help you enormously to, um, to, to write a book that people actually want to read. This is one of the pointers when it comes to a target market. They must see you as an essential, not as a luxury. So that is that's good. that changes the game when you can have your target audience see you as an essential, not as a luxury. They must see the value in your uniqueness and truly, truly want that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to assess your online presence. Have you updated your website? So if you have a, a book or you've got a book about to be launched, is that all over your website? 
Now, I know this seems really obvious, but so many people just do not ever think to do that. And I go to their website and say, what's going on? Okay, so you need to actually have it as front and centre on your website. Have you reworded your LinkedIn? So make sure it's really obvious that you're an author and you're promoting your book on LinkedIn. Um, Yet again, as I said to you before, one of the best things about um, self-publishing your book is the content. You are free to do whatever you like with that content, but you need to reword your LinkedIn so that you are seen as the expert in your field and you're, you're using the sales messages from your book or that you've created around the IP in your book to really put that through your LinkedIn um, uh, uh, profile. Now, Jo Saunders is on this call with us today and Jo is my go-to when it comes to LinkedIn. She is an absolute genius in the LinkedIn space. I could not operate without her. And um, if you go and have a look at Jo's LinkedIn, then you will see sales messages in action. They are just done beautifully. Those bumper sticker statements that really highlight um, what Joe stands for. It's on my LinkedIn as well, of course. Um, but uh, that's what you need to do. Is your LinkedIn up to scratch? You need to be just as good in paper on paper as you are in person or just as good online as you are in person and vice versa. Next one, create new videos. Is this important for you to do as well? If you've got a book and you want it to be the center of your strategy and make great money out of the IP that you have worked so hard to create, then new videos need to be produced. So have you done that? Have you got yourself a, a, a um, is there a video section on your website? Are there videos on your LinkedIn profile? Have you got yourself a YouTube channel? Uh, I know that people who are working with us are going and checking those places out for all of our videos. So have you done videos? Are they professionally produced? And are they absolutely in line and speaking to the target audience that is going to read your book and want to buy from you after they read that. Then we need to assess your products and packages. Create new products and or packages that you know your readers will buy. This is to reiterate this. It's so important. I say this to clients all the time. When your ideal audience reads your book, what are they going to want to buy from you? Ah, people go, hmm. Okay, let me think about that. You have to think about that. And then I want to make sure that you have exactly what they're going to want to buy from you ready for them to buy. So getting very, very clear on your products and packages is essential. Otherwise, you're going to be missing a phenomenal opportunity when it comes to um, maximizing your ROI and making great money. Continuity is key. You need to be consistent. Consistency, consistency wins the race, I tell my daughter nonstop. So continuity is key. We've got to keep it consistent, keep it uh, continuous, and make sure your messages, uh, there's continuity across all of your different platforms. And if you've got staff as well working with you, that their language is the same as your language, which is the language of your book. Let's have a look at some common mistakes. Let me put myself down here. These are the common mistakes that authors play or would-be authors, um, soon-to-be authors play when it comes to their book. First of all, they play an amateur game. So if you know that you're not doing what I'm talking about today, um, and you've given yourself a one, a zero, one, two, even a three in our seven steps, I hate to say it, but you are playing an amateur game and you cannot make money playing an amateur game, you cannot make good money. I mean, you know, <laughs> quarter of a million, quarter of a million, half a million dollars, three quarters of a million, a million dollars in your practice, you've got to pay, play a professional game. Um, P, another common mistake is the PR and marketing strategy with no sales strategy. You're kidding yourself if you think you can just have lots of PR and marketing but not have a sales strategy. You just will not be able to convert your leads. Not blocking out time to sell. This is critical. You need to have space in your diary, space in your calendar every week to have sales conversations and sales meetings. The rule is 20% of your week spent selling. Minimum, if you are a thought leader, if you're the salesperson in your business and you're selling yourself. Brilliant for those of you who have a full-time salesperson, but they are phenomenally hard to find and very expensive if you've got a good one. So the fact is, as a subject matter expert, author, or thought leader, you are going to be selling yourself. 
Second one, you are losing sales. Sorry, not the second one. The fourth one, you are losing okay. sales due to not being as good in person as you are on paper or vice versa or winging it in your sales conversations. There is a cost to winging it. You need to be consistent. Continuity is key. You need to be able to fully rely on a, uh, on a systematic approach to your sales so that you never wing it because you will lose a lot of money winging your sales conversations. And lastly, not being crystal clear on your products, packages, and pricing. And I know I'm, I've said this a number of times now, but clarity gives you massive momentum forward. And without clarity, it's very hard to make great money. So you need crystal clear clarity on your products, prices, and, um, and, and packages. So uh, I would love to hear from you now. Has anybody got any questions around that? Um, I'm, really, I'm really keen to, to know what your thoughts are in terms of, first of all, um, have we got anyone there who's written down what their actions are? So what they'd like to do from an action perspective. Um, I can't see my chat box very well. All right. So if you have a question, I'm really happy for you to pop into, um, pop onto my screen now if you have a question. I'm very happy to answer a couple of questions now before we talk about um, next steps and what you need to do to bring this to life. If you are really, really um, determined to make great money with your book at the center of your strategy. So John has asked, what are the benefits and pitfalls of self-publishing versus a publishing house? That is a super duper um, uh, question. And I'm going to put Michael back on the screen right now. Michael, are you there? Because uh, we actually just, Michael and I ran a LinkedIn live with exactly this question as one of our main questions that you answered so beautifully, Michael. But um, if you would like to answer that now, what are the what are the benefits and pitfalls of publishing versus self-publishing versus a publishing house? Michael. Of course, John. It's, it's, a, it's a very complicated question. We could actually, and, and we did almost run a whole session just on this, but to give you the cliffs notes uh, for the issues we're talking about today, um, in terms of uh, Rachel's talked a lot about the control of your book after it comes out. Uh, if you if you get a deal with a traditional publishing house, so the John Wiley's, the Penguins of the world, um, they will have a contractual say in some in what you can do with the book after it's published. So um, you're not allowed to do uh, to do anything that competes with the book. Um, so that means you can't um, uh, put it on, you know, turn turn it into blogs. You can't turn it into a course. You can't, you know, even if you made videos based on the book, if they were too close to the content of the book, you might have problems. Um, so that's a very important issue for authors, uh, especially small business authors. Um, the, the, the other main advantage, I'll just sum this up really quickly, John, I'm happy to have a conversation with you later about this if you want, it is a very big conversation. Um, Self-publishing is quicker, you have more control um, both of the process and after the book is published and you don't have to get picked up by a publisher. Um, traditional publishing does have some advantages. I'm not going to say it's terrible, don't do it. But um, the disadvantage, sorry, the advantages of traditional publishing are you don't have to pay to produce the book. So the publisher pays for it. Um, in return for that, they do get some of that control. Um, and the other major disadvantage with traditional publishing, again, especially for authors in this area, is it can take for up to 12 to 18 months, whereas you can self publish a book in three or four months. So, um, like I so say, that's a really quick summary of what's a very big issue. And, John, happy to chat to you about that later if you want to yeah thank you michael you could stay on there as well because angeline has a question what level of investment do you need now angeline i'm not exactly sure of whether you're talking about um writing a book publishing a book uh learning how to sell i'm I, if you can give us a little bit more detail around exactly what you're what you're saying there publishing a book so how much does it cost to publish a book let's go straight to the hard questions michael <laughs> Yes, so, so our average packages are twelve dollars to $15,000. Um, so that's what you can expect to pay for a highly experienced team. So as I've said, I used to be managing editor of John Wiley and Sons. Um, we've got people who've worked at Penguin, Lonely Planet. Um, you can do it a little bit cheaper, but would you really want to? Um, you get what you pay for. Um, so yeah, factor that investment in. Uh, that's, that includes uh, 200 copies of your book for most of our authors bookshop distribution, uh, getting the book on Amazon, Booktopia, Book Depository, those sorts of sites. So expect twelve dollars to $15,000 to produce your book. The way I describe it is to produce your book to the same standards as the major publishers. 
Yeah, beautiful. Um, and also for anyone who, who is, is really is, is zoned in on, uh, on the pricing there as well, in all seriousness, from a programs and pro products and programs perspective, that should be, it should be so much easier for you to sell something worth 15000 or above as soon as you have a book. So my expectation for our authors when they have that is that uh, you make that money back. So anything the, the book has cost you, you're going to make that back so quickly if you're doing what I've talked about correctly today. Um, if you don't have a strategy around that, then you're going to be thinking, okay, I spent that money and got nowhere near enough back from it. It is the strategy and the action that is going to really make that just a drop in the ocean in terms of what you will earn um, when you've written a great book. Okay, thank you for that. So next, uh, next question is from Bill. How important is external validation? Five-star ratings on Goodreads, Amazon and industry awards are massive. Okay, so to answer that, they are incredibly important. External validation, third-party endorsements, they are right out there as a 10 out of 10 in terms of um, cementing your credibility. And from a, as a thought leader and industry expert author, we want maximum credibility. That is one of the reasons why we write a book. So therefore, um, Bill, they are high up there. And for all of you uh, who are thinking about entering the Business Book Awards with Michael and the, and the, and the team at the Australian Business Book Awards, then 100% go for it. I know we've got um, Zoe Routh on our, on our webinar today who won, I think, last year. Um, so it's, it's massive and uh, to, to win that and to be able to have that publicity as well. And I know a few of our other clients have done very well in awards and I think 100% go for it. Next question is, um, who do we look at uh, as great case studies, example of people doing it well? Let me put that together for you, Chris. So thank you for that question. That's a great question. I'm going to put together um, a list of people who are doing what we've talked about really well today, especially got their book on their on their website and really promoting it very well. And I will send that out to you in our in our post webinar email so you can go through and see those example of people who are who are shining lights um, in this space. Next question. Um, okay. Any, yes. All right. So we've got, great. We've got all the questions there. I think that I can find very quickly. All right. So uh, gosh, we've got 10 minutes to go, everybody. The hour always goes so fast. If you have more questions, please send them through and I will get back to you with that. Um, but what I would love to share with you now, are what what the next steps are if you to do this properly and if you'd like to actually speak to us further and possibly come and work with Michael and I to do this incredibly well and to do this professionally. So let me share with you a model now that we, uh, we have aptly named the truth about revenue growth. So first of all, when it comes to, let me put myself over here, when it comes to revenue growth, um, so, so let me just start that again, I should say, Am I right to assume that everybody here is driven to create more money in their business or practice? That I would say is a definite yes. So to quote the famous Thomas Jefferson, if you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. Where you are now will remain the status quo uh, if nothing changes. However, everyone is here for a reason. And just by being here, you are well into the preparation phase. Um, we've been doing this for a long time. And what we know to be true is that there are five distinct stages in achieving sustainable revenue growth. So we go from preparation to systemizing. You need to fully systemize your approach, which is step three. And then you will see a steady increase in your, in your revenue growth. Then you need to strategize. Once you've got a system, what do I do with this system? It's like when you've got a book. What do I do with the book? You need to strategize. And then you will see another increase, um, a little bit steadier increase again in your ability to make money. But of course, it's all in the implementation. So when you implement your strategy that you've done so well, that's when you can start to be that sought after expert in your field. But to stand out, you need to scale. But please, whatever you do, don't scale spaghetti. You need to be really organized, highly professional, and do this all in the right order so that when you do scale your business or your practice, you start, you are seen as a standout and you can cope with that influx of work. And that's when obviously you are making brilliant money in your business. 
So let me show you exactly what we can do to work with you to make this possible. Um, we run a three-day sales intensive, our neuro influence sales intensive four times a year uh, virtually now. And this intensive is a must if you are determined to achieve maximum ROI on your book and substantially grow your revenue. Your sales conversations are hit and miss. Your, the language you use to explain your business and your IP is not strong enough. And you want a practical sales approach that works and will ensure you never sound salesy. So what you will learn when you come and train with us at the three-day intensive is um, a sales approach that gives you, so a sales approach that works, complete clarity regarding what to say and how to say it from the pitch right through to the close and everything in between. How to prove your value, turn your models from IP to USP and remove the price objection. So build beautiful visual models that represent your value proposition and do the selling for you. The best way to cover objections and never be on the back foot again. Invaluable feedback, receive clear, honest and direct feedback from the other business owners or thought leaders in the room who have no vested interest in you or your business, but their, their, their feedback is incredibly valuable to you and something you never, ever normally get to experience. The best way to secure for referrals, third party endorsements that make sales flow through the door, how to create lucrative opportunities and be so memorable that people who don't uh, need to buy from you will still send clients your way. And also mindset mastery, feel confidence like you've never had before, conduct sales conversations that are enjoyable for both you and your prospect. So um, what do some clients say about working with us? It was the best training. So Ishan Galapathy, uh, this was the best training I had attended ever. Never, ne sorry, never have I seen the trainers take so much time and interest to actually study the individual participants' uh, details in order to provide specific advice to each and every person. So impressive. This program is world class. So by March this year, Ishan gained, gained that that coveted uh, black belt status in the thought leader community, which is 720 a year in sales. Um, Donna McGeorge, uh, this course provides the perfect sales system. I have never been given the cheap, sorry, I have been given the cheap sheets for successful sales meetings. My double, my income has doubled. I would never have reached this level of success without you. Amanda, Amanda Bleasing, I started working with Sales Space five years ago. Best decision ever. While they are world-class at sales, they are also simply stand out when it comes to building a practice that actually works. I simply cannot operate without them now. They've totally uh, revitalized the way I do business. And Peter Foster, outsourced C, uh, CFO. Since joining Sales Space last October, my business has grown 140%, more than doubled my revenue in nine months. And Bernard de Schmidt, Last but not least, I can honestly say I've never been exposed to such a profound and proven sales system. It is the most respectful sales approach to selling I've ever encountered. The tw December 21 to January 22 was the biggest earning month ever, right smack bang in the middle of, uh, of the pandemic. So what does that look like if you would like to come and work with us? The complete, the inclusions and cost is the complete sales approach from the pitch to the close, including your perfect pitch, the first thing we work on is making sure your pitch, how to sell yourself is perfect. Uh, the full consultation system, including all of the vital questions, move your clients from that sounds good to, okay, where do we go from here? The easy close system, the four visual models that will prove your value. We create those at the sales intensive and also sales scripts and templates from cold calling to follow up and everything in between. All of our work has got a 100% satisfaction guarantee as well. Uh, so the total price is 3,700 GST inclusive, but the bonuses for today only. If you let us know that you would like to come and work with us um, by 5 p.m. today, uh, Sydney time, then you'll also receive our online training, which is pre-sales intensive online training, which is valued at your sales for 997. You will also get a 30 minute strategy discussion with me, um, which is normally $750. So I'll be working with you personally and get you very organized for a highly, highly structured, powerful 30 minutes together discussing your strategy and what steps I would take next for you. And also a 
three hour consultation with public published central normally $825 so you get Michael all to yourself uh, and I'm going to show you exactly what you get with that in a second so that's an extra 200 sorry two and a half thousand plus in bonuses um, if you would like to let us know today that you would like to work with us so what do you get when you're working with Michael um, in his three hours if you haven't written a book figure out your target market and what you should write about um, map out the contents list, plan out a publishing plan, and also discuss ideas for covers, discuss publicity, distribution, sales, etc. Discuss anything else you need to know about writing to get you writing. If you have written a book, the types of things you can talk to Michael about, discuss your book strategy and where to make improvements, discuss publicity, distribution and sales, discuss other things you can do with your book, such as create a course, discuss your book uh, how your book is fitting into your business and examine your options for your next book. So in summary, this is exactly what it looks like. I'm going to put myself down here. These are the two dates that we've got, um, the final two dates of 2022, August. I think I've got two sets left in August and um, the 7th and 9th of November as well. That's, the, uh, that's the, the bonuses there. And also, if you'd like to pay via payment plan, we're super happy for you to do that. If you'd like to come to August, it's two payments of $18.50. And if you'd like to come to November, it's four payments of $9.25. So remember, bonuses valid till 5 p.m. today. So what are the next steps? This is exactly what I want you to do now. First of all, re-listen to the recording and implement the advice. That is obviously the most important. Um, let us help you reap the extraordinary rewards, rewards possible with your book. Um, right in the chat, I'm keen and we will get in contact with you um, or email me at Rachel at Sales Space um, before 5 p.m. today so you can have all the bonuses and get you set up and ready to come and work with us personally. So that's all I need you to do, right? I'm keen in the chat or email me at Rachel at salespace.com.au. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. Michael, if you would like to pop back on my screen as well. Um, Fantastic. We've finished right on the dot at 11. And uh, yes, great questions being asked today. And thank you, everybody. You've all stayed here basically for the whole whole session. And um, I'm really, really keen to take this further. And if you want to do this properly and make a lot of money with your book at the center of your strategy, then please reach out. We're super keen to help. This is what we do all day, every day. And um, and I'd love to work with you. Michael, wonderful to have you here. Thank you for hosting this, uh, this event for us today as well. And it's been a, a pleasure to work with you and continue to work with you into the future as you help me publish our book. Yes, looking forward to that. Thanks, Rachel. That was fabulous. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, again, thanks for your time. You know how busy you all are. If you've got any questions about anything today, feel free to reach out to myself or Rachel. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, beautiful. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye.